Manchester Castle. Oh, busy. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Macbeth? Yeah, it's Oliver Cromwell again. Fleets of glasses sail around the board. Oh yes. an amazing collection here isn't it? There's a lot of pictures. That is a deep bath. Much. So this has been a, a fighting castle and a fortress but it's also been a much loved family home. So we're inviting our visitors to imagine it. Here's a series of hanging paintings showing um, the story of Antony and Cleopatra and here Cleopatra is meeting Mark Antony and seducing him and the pair of them decide that they can manage Egypt and the East better than the rest of the triumvirate from Rome. And I suppose this is where he's confirming her as Queen of Egypt, as part of the Roman Empire. But it looks like it's a, a laurel wreath for victory. But I don't think they won any battles, um, and they fought again on land. Antony and Cleopatra versus Octavius Caesar. And of course they lost. And the consequences of losing were that they both committed suicide. But in this case, you can see Antony offering his sword to his second in command and ordering him to kill him. But unfortunately, the poor chap had sworn an oath only ever to defend Antony, and so he killed himself instead. Whereupon Antony makes a botched attempt to kill himself. It's all a bit of a mess. And this is the end of Cleopatra. You can just see she's holding the asp in her left hand. There's about the snake is about to uh, to bite her and poison her. But it's, it's interesting because it, it is these were done in about 1680 in the Netherlands. And so this is the King Charles room. 
and a ghost haunts it. It's a secret passage. That looks like a windowsill, but in fact it's a step up to a door, so you can escape. Right. That's a sound effect, that telephone, is it? <laughs> well, actually, if you pick the phone up, you get a, um, a commentary about the room. That's rather nice. To record. Oh, I've heard one or two people this afternoon trying to have a conversation with it, but... Uh... <laughs>